welcome back KTZ Chronic channel with a brand new video and today I will show you how to make a spot welder out of a DVD so let's get right into the video so uh, the thing is connected to the mains power and I will tear it down for you to show you uh, what it actually takes to make one it's really not that hard it's only a matter of having the right parts and I will tell you uh, what you will need for this project but uh, we have here uh, the, the spot welder itself it's connected to the mains power here and uh, we have a on off switch here so now it's off so turn it on I'm gonna push this uh, button here it turns on now we are making a short circuit on our uh, wires here so let me just show you what kind of amperage we actually get on this uh, welder uh, when we have a short circuit here uh, it's not going to hurt uh, the transformer or the windings anyhow it's only gonna get them a little bit long. so I'm going to use my clamp on meter on the wires here so we have uh, on the secondary we have one, two, three, four, five windings paralleled, and we are going to 200 amp to 600 amp scale. Hopefully you can see that uh, here the screen is visible. So now I'm turning the welder on and pressing the button. So we are running at 500 amps and uh, the windings get hot of course and uh, the contacts get hot as well so now let me slowly tear it down for you but before we do that let's actually do some testing so before we start I just want to advise you that you should always wear your safety glasses especially when working with this kind of equipment. Uh, the sparks go everywhere so safety glasses is a must. Now before I'm actually going to even touch this part of the device we make sure that it's off when we press the button and the master switch is off therefore when we open the jaws uh, we will not get electrocuted so now I'm going to insert uh, two pieces of metal and we're going to spot weld them and I will bring my camera closer all right so now you have a good view of what is happening so now I'm turning uh, the spot welder on and pressing the button in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so now we had a little bit of smoke. I'm just going to let the plates cool before I touch it. Spot welder is off so I can safely touch it and we will make uh, three uh, welds to make sure our to make sure uh, it's not coming off. It's too hot. Alright. Let's actually make a little bit more uh, welds than we planned. I'm going to turn off my light so you guys can actually see how it's going red hot. and red it's hot I'm really trying not to burn myself okay this is the last well okay 
So now we are done. It's off. And I'm taking them out. So now we have nice six welds on our plates. So now I'm going to try to take them off. Take them apart. And you can't. Because they are welded together. Beautiful. Now we will actually disassemble the welder. So let's unplug it from the wall and make sure it's the right cord. Put it here and we're going to disassemble it. So uh, first uh, things first, uh, at the time I still, I didn't know much I knew how they work, but I never made anything quite powerful like this. So keep in mind this was one of my earlier projects and engineering decisions I made isn't the greatest, but they were something to be proud of at the time. So keep in mind when you see what's inside. Alright guys, so what you can see uh, right here is something I came up with a long time ago. So, essentially what we have here is our mains power is coming in, okay? And just out. okay. So the mains power is coming in, our ground is directly connected to uh, the transformer for safety reasons also uh, we have uh, our ground going to this board which has a fuse so this is a fused device I think it's a uh, 15 amp fuse but I think the breaker will go before the fuse so that doesn't really matter our hot uh, comes here, goes to the switch, goes through the switch, goes into the board, as well as our neutral. And then we have our output here going to our transformer. Handy dandy. Okay, so that is all good. Now, uh, one of the mistakes I did uh, back then is of course I use the angle grinder to cut the core in half to get the secondary out you can do that no problem but if you are planning to use the transformer again uh, make sure you have a welder welding machine to actually weld it back if you don't as you can see tape it with the special glass fiber tape that's almost impossible to rip like that so it's really tight there uh, it gives nearly the same performance it's really loud though because it's vibrating against each other but hey it's all right so yeah now the next thing I want to talk about is this part of uh, our circuit uh, we have uh, three coils of wire and each coil has two wires in parallel therefore uh, it's equivalent of six uh, coils of wire in parallel now as far as I remember uh, we have 
uh, two turns of wire so that's giving us approximately 3.5 volts uh, at 500 amps and uh, we have these output terminals here like that which go to one uh, output terminal and the other uh, we also have our uh, second switch on the top uh, right here as you can see and the hot is coming uh, from there so the transformer is getting power through that switch directly and we also have a neon light bulb here that indicates when the power is off so guys that's about it for this video i have the thing assembled right now and tested it's working so hopefully you guys liked this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button down below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will know when more videos like these come out and yeah see you next time